Hey guys, we're back in the world of the Pokemon with the fire redness and stuff. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, three badges, okay. Um, yeah, uh, I believe we made it to the rock tunnel. Yeah, so we're gonna go through that because we did sort of thing. We don't actually have to cut this down. You can just walk around, but I just find it funny to do that because it's a shortcut. And here we are. And this is the rock tunnel. This is the gimmick for. Obviously, as you can tell, the Flash HM, because we can't see a damn thing here. So, thank you, turnips. There, now we can see. Alright, let's light up a repel so I don't have to freaking deal with battles every four seconds. Wow, I don't have that many, huh? But seriously, it's about as bad as, like... The original Final Fantasies for the NES, where it's like, encounter, encounter, encounter. <laughs> okay, thanks for giving me that back. Uh, and like, you see, there's this trainer here. You can't avoid this guy, I don't think. And, uh... You know, it's like, you won't know he's there if you're just walking around, because he's all like, hey, I'm, uh... Here. And he's like... <laughs> He's like, apparently a cosplayer. Ashton. Ashton Kutcher, is that you? Oh, Ulta. I believe, uh, Cubone is ground and fighting, so this should do damage. And it gets rid of him, so, eh. That's fine. 427 series for Ulta, and he has a Slowpoke. Which... We shall deal with... Uh, I think... Yeah, Turnips has, a. Uh, Lightning Bolt, or Thunderbolt, or Shockwave, or one of the two. One of those moves. And they're gonna zap the crap out <laughs> the slow bro, or Slowpoke. Slowpoke is a water psychic, and thus weak to dark, you know, all the psychic weaknesses. Dark, uh, ghost, bug, and... Why is everything slowing down all of a sudden? that, and, uh, you know, he's also water, so he's weak to all the stuff that water is weak to, like, you know, grass and thunder, and poison. I will reflect. I'm never going to use it, so no, turn up, you will not learn reflect. Sorry if that bothers him. And we get $1,100 from mugging this guy, but, yeah, let's keep on moving. We're probably gonna off-screen most of these trainers, because there are a lot of them. And we have another... Some stairs. You can use Rock Smash on those, but there's like no reason to, so I don't know why you would. Uh, another Pokemaniac, so I'll take care of this guy. <sighs> That's creepy. Uh, he just had one high powered level uh, 25 Slowpoke. I probably, uh, probably should have left that one in there. But eh. Let's put another repel on. I hope I can get through this without having the deal with random encounters. We have yet another Pokeball down here, which contains a Revive. Revive will revive a fainted Pokemon, similar to, say, a Phoenix Down in any other game, really. Oh, well, I guess. This should be a Picnicker. Yeah, Martha. She's an Oddish. And uh, Ulta's not going to do very well here. So let's, um... You do that. No, no. Since he's three levels behind Dilly. There you go. Huh. Thank you. God, paralyzed. Uh, Aerial Ace. Ah. Oh, almost good enough to one shot things. Oddish is, I don't know what their obsession is with Sweet Scent, but they all do it, and they all do it frequently. And since, like, that's all they seem to do. They never really attack anybody. I don't know what the point is of lowering somebody's evasion if you're never going to attack them. Well, we have our Zubat at level 21 now. Turn to learn winning. Oh, wing attack. Okay, another actual flying move there. Did Astonish Airways fight? Uh, is it power 60? 60, but I can't miss. Um, I don't need Astonish because... If I want something that I can flinch, I'll just use Bite, which has more power. And he learns Wing Attack, so there's really no point to learning that either. Bulbasaur. No, we'll keep uh, Zubat out there. 
But yeah, there's really no point in learning more than one flying move, really. And I'm asleep. Great. Okay, what are you doing now? Oh, Razor Leaf. This shouldn't do a whole lot. Being that he's both flying and poison. No, oh, no, not Vinyl Whip. Is it even less? Still asleep. That's turn three. Razor Leaf again. Guess. Oh, no, here's a critical hit, right? Yeah, of course. Still asleep. That's turn four. Alright, you should be able to wake up. Thank you. Oh. Thankfully, I left this one in because I almost. Cut it one out. I was like, oh, I'll cut this guy. No, no, I won't. I'll leave it in. I'll try to leave in the first trainer of a type in a route because it'll generally give you the idea of what kind of Pokemon they have. Yeah, we'll give him a super potion there. That was pretty ridiculous. Alright, let's keep on walking. Alright, there's this guy, so I'll cut him out. Uh, he just had a Charmander and a Cubo, nothing spectacular. Uh, here we go. This actually area, despite being long, it's pretty straightforward. There's like that guy and this guy, so I will take care of both of them and be right back after this repel. Alright, the guy down at the bottom just had one Geodude, and the guy over there had... Uh, Machop and an Onyx. You know, nothing spectacular that we haven't seen before. We have this guy, and I believe there's another guy down there, so I will take care of both of these guys and be right back as well with a synopsis of what kind of stuff they got. As soon as I get in a fight with one of them. Alright, there was just, I think, one guy had... Two Onyxes and two Geodudes. One guy had like two Geodudes and a Machop. This guy actually had a Geodude and a Graveler of all things. Okay, we had a boss by Repel there. How many of these do I got left? Eight? That should be enough. That's 800 steps. Hope there's not enough of that, more than that in this cave. And we get an escape rope, just in case you need it. And we go down here. Up there, on the other side, was actually the path that we came in on. Again, there's more of these rocks that you can smash, but they don't do anything. Nothing there. Oh, we have this picnicker here. Oh, I'll leave her in, I guess. I don't know. No. I don't see any twigs, but okay. And we have Sophia, who has a... Oh my god, why did I agree to leave this one in? I hate these things. Like, literally, I hate Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff, all this stupid nonsense. And... Yeah. Ugh. Well, one dead. Good. Didn't get put to sleep there. Alright. Alright with that. Pidgey. Okay, um, I need turnips. Because I need someone who can zap him. I don't know if Pidgey is just flying or normal flying. I'm not sure. But, either way, he's gonna die because of this. So, eh. There, Turnip's making another appearance in the Let's Play. Um, I think the only person who hasn't made an appearance is Dilly. And, uh, oh, well, B-Dude, too. But we'll use, we'll use them eventually in this episode, I believe. Show off how everybody got there. Um, Ulta and Uderai, being that they, uh... You know, a lot of the hikers have rock Pokemon. I've been leveling like fiends, you know. And D Dilly kicked the Meowth in the face. You happy Dilly, you kicked a cat in the face. Alright, I don't think there's anything down here. No, that's where I believe I want to go. Or, no, wait, there's an item down here. I think. Nope, there's this guy. Who I believe teaches Rock Slide? Uh, sure. Who do I want to give it to? Dilly, Dilly can learn it? Alright, um, let's see if this is a better rock move than rock throw. 
It's actually better than this one. You know, the TM move. Uh, yeah, we'll give it, we'll replace Rock Tomb. I mean, you know, a TM move versus a move tutor move? Fine. I, I'm all happy with that. Yeah, another repel. 700 steps left. I will buy some, uh, upgraded repels when I get to the next town, but ugh, I just hope I make it. Alright, that's gonna be an item up here, which is a max ether. Yay! Others, ether, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm gonna take care of this camper or hiker and that Pokemaniac up there, so I'll be right back. Yes, yes I can. Yeah, Alright, everything seems to be all in well in order. We're just gonna keep on moving. There's gonna be a whole bunch of these little girls and like a little gauntlet here, so I'm gonna take care of all that. I'm way the hell over here. What? Beedude is evolving? No way! Yeah, this kind of happened after the first... <laughs> the first battle, really, and Beedude hit level 25, and it's like, I'm gonna evolve. And I'm like, oh, awesome. And he evolves into a Graveler. He will never make it into a Golem, because to make him into a Golem, you have to trade him. And that's really hard to do like this, but, alright. So I'm gonna go back to, uh... Uh, off-screening this little yeah, hole here. Eh, right. We seem to be done with that damn nonsense. Uh, I thought there was more than two, but I guess there's only two, so sorry. But B-Dude uh, leveled up and evolved, which is good. And I need to unparalyze Udo. There we go. And... Uh, I really don't want to use a super potion for only 30-something HP, but eh. Get Zubat's HP up there. Uh, Picnickers have, uh, we get a Pearl, which is just another sellable item. Those Picnickers over there, they have a lot of normal and occasionally things like Bellsprout. As, like, this one. Um, I think we're almost out of here, so I'm gonna cut her out, too. Alright, that should be, I think, the last person here, because here's the exit. And is there an item over here? No? Nothing? Alright, hopefully my last repel lasts a little longer. Come on, come on, make it. Yes! Oh, except there's these guys. Yeah, I will take care. There's those two, and down here is that guy. I think there's one more guy over here. I'll take care of all four of those and be right back. No, I don't want to see your Pokemon. Oh, Zubat is evolving. Yay, Zubat! What is he going to evolve into? Uh, I don't know. The suspense is killing me! And there he goes. He's a Golbat. Yay, Golbat! Alright, I will go back to uh, killing these guys off screen. So... We've made it to Lavender Town, and, you know, fitting that it is October, and this place has some creepy music as well as a spooky atmosphere, but you're going to have to find out what happens next time on Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. What's the deal with this place? What are we doing here? We've managed to circumvent around, you know, the obstacles that allowed us to get to this side of the map, but now what do we do? Find out next time when I answer all those questions on the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Till then, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support, and have a good night, everybody, if you can.